So for sure, hands down, you're not alone. All right, that is the most essential thing that you have to understand that what you're going through, uh, although it's unique to you and how you process it and what spikes it, what doesn't, what might send it into depression or wherever it is, you're not alone. I mean, you know, there there are literally hundreds of millions of people that battle anxiety every single day. They just have learned kind of their own little unique system to deal with it, to reset it so it doesn't grow into a, a bigger fear. The big thing is to just recognize you're not alone, you're not by yourself, right? Other people are dealing with it. And really to work on your self-confidence every single day and to have those tools that when your self-confidence takes a hit, have some of the tools, like something that you can tap into that gives you confidence, right? Maybe it's just the thought of knowing, well, man, you know what, I'm a, I'm a badass drummer. And, and just that thought alone switches you back into that moment of empowerment. So the fact that you can create that, that you can share that with other people, that's empowering. Yeah. And so just stay in that, for confidence, stay in that place. Hi, Chris Lesso here, and I know as you push yourself on the path, what we call LTR, Life Through Rhythm, is these things that we face every day in the battlefield of life becomes the obstacles that we also face to become the best drummers we can be. But sometimes that obstacle becomes the way forward. So the bottom, sometimes what looks like the obstacle in front of you is actually the bottom of the step that you just need to step on to reach that whole new level and to just attack the person that you can be and to become your best self through drumming and in life. And that's the whole concept. And what is one of the biggest things that we face but anxiety? I've had challenges with this. I've seen this in all my students and really in, in the world today with massive distractions, the pace of the world like never before, this is really the challenge we all face together at this time with the speed of the world, the pace, the amount of distractions that hit us every day, information overload, the expectations of what we're supposed to be at certain stages of our life. It's just never ending. And drumming is a great way to bring that down in yourself and to, and to really just curb this down so you, you, can, you can face this and so you can breathe and so you can let out the stress. And we always say tension is the enemy. And tension is really tightness. Tension can be in your thoughts, like never being enough, always having something to do, never being present, always into the next thing. Oh, I gotta be this for this person. I have to be this for this person. And this tension can be mental, which goes into physical and which we're looking at it through the lens of drumming, but it, it can be in anything. And that's really what we're, we're gonna solve here through using drumming. Now, if it's not drumming for you, like I know lots of people that love to paint or go canoeing or, or to dance or to do martial arts or whatever it is to bring that anxiety down, you must do it because it's, it's one of the biggest challenges we face in the world today. But drumming is a fantastic way to bring this down. And something I recently learned was you can't be sad when you're dancing. Your body will not let you. Physiologically, it's just not possible. Now you can be sad when you write, you can be sad when you garden, or just do different things that you could think of that could be a hobby. But when you dance, actually like chemically and physiologically what's happening hormonally in, in your body with dopamine and endorphins and serotonin levels and different things like that. You actually, it'll, you'll see it and bring a smile to your face. And what is more connected to dancing than drumming? Drumming is literally the definition of dancing, which is like moving to rhythm and the joy of that. So, so drumming really 
is a fantastic way to curb anxiety and, and which, is, which is the next step is depression and, and it can be a paralyzing force and we need to battle that. We need to find something to bring that down. So I had ex-Navy SEAL David Rutherford on my podcast. Now what an amazing person, passionate, sharp, wants to, wants to make the world better through the lessons he's learned from being on the battlefield. And the Navy SEALs are really the warriors, modern day warriors of today. They're just like on the cutting edge of developing themselves as people physically, mentally, tactically, developing the craft of how they can, they can serve basically. Like what better way to be a servant leader? These are the elite warriors of our time. And David Rutherford, fantastic person. He's, he's not a drummer, but he's a, he's, we learned so many things about drumming through him in, in this podcast. So check out the, the full episode. It was about an hour and a half. It was, it was so much fun to do. And we always say to, to become better at drumming, you want to go outside of drumming. So if you want to be a better chef, go outside of cooking. Steal from golf, steal from archery, steal from painting, anything you can to make your craft better. So that's the real big secret of drumming is like if I really want to connect with people through this instrument, I have to learn about communication. I have to learn about breathing skills to, to keep myself calm. I have to think empowering thoughts that serve the band and serve the audience. So all these things that are not just picking up sticks and doing exercises, they're the greater connection to what this is and to life. And that's LTR, Life Through Rhythm. So check out this piece from when we had David Rutherford, Navy SEAL on the podcast. And during the Q&A section, one of my teenage students asked a question about, he was going through a lot of anxiety challenges at this time and it was it was it was uh, debilitating it was getting in the way of his dreams and he asked this question and David Rutherford just has such a great answer for this that we can take into our lives and into our drumming and to help others so check it out and if you think about these these elite warriors what who who has faced more anxiety and, and maybe more tension than like being literally on the battlefield with bullets flying. That's when your sympathetic nervous system can take over, fight, flight, or freeze. That's when the, the ancient part of your brain called the amygdala can just paralyze you and, and you shallow breathe and you do all the things you shouldn't. Panicking. You don't ever want to panic. And when you're doing things like public speaking, driving a car, or being on stage in front of thousands of people drumming, this can be triggered, this sympathetic nervous system. So you want actually your parasympathetic nervous system to bring you down to a calm state. So this is breathing, this is being centered, in control of your best self, and we wanna take it in the drums and into life. What would the most important Thing to remember me as a kid with an anxiety disorder? Uh, awesome one. Awesome one. So for sure, hands down, you're not alone. All right? That is the most essential thing that you have to understand that what you're going through, uh, although it's unique to you and how you process it and what spikes it, what doesn't, what might send it into depression or wherever it is, you're not alone. I mean, you know, there there are literally hundreds of millions of people that battle anxiety every single day. They just have learned kind of their own little unique system to deal with it, to reset it so it doesn't grow into a, a bigger fear, a fear that inhibits and stalls and, and stagnates and, you know, creates a, 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 a heightened a paralysis through analysis or however you want to describe it. So... The big thing is to just recognize you're not alone, you're not by yourself, right? Other people are dealing with it. And then to think back, yeah, I'm telling you what, I still deal with it sometimes too. I get in those moments where my PTSD comes back, I gotta take a little break, I'll go for a run, and that clears it out, and I, I'm good, and then I can re-engage. Um, the big thing that I, I started, why I always started with 
and how the whole Frog Logic kids started and, and those kids in Afghanistan was to recognize that confidence is key for you right now, especially moving into 15, right? Because you've crossed over that threshold of, of you know, that real kind of growth period for logical development where your logic kind of formulates and you kind of get cause and effect and you understand all that. Now you're moving into who, you know, the early stages of this next transition, which will be from really 15, 16 to about 26 years old. And, and, and once you hit that point, then you're kind of like, whoo, all right, I kind of know who I am now. <laughs> and it's a long period of time, and there's a lot of stuff you're going to go through. But guess what? That's the beauty of it. Um, and really to work on your self-confidence every single day and to have those tools that when your self-confidence takes a hit, maybe you get into a social situation and you're uncomfortable and you don't know what to say or do, and then you're like, ah, and you take off, right? That fight or flight hits, and you get out of dodge, or you get into a confrontation, and you know you lock up, and you can't. Your prefrontal cortex shuts down, and you can't process, and you're like, uh, 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 you know, all those moments. Have some of the tools, like something that you can tap into that gives you confidence, right? Maybe it's just the thought of knowing, well, man, you know what? I'm a, I'm a badass drummer, and, and just that thought alone switches you back into that moment of empower, right? Because one of the problems, and, and, and I'm actually getting ready to release my third kid's book, which is all about anti-bullying, um, is about bullying and anti-bullying book, um, is one of the researches I, that I found is the spike of bullying shoots up in sixth, seventh, eighth grade, you know, kind of middle school, then kind of tapers back down, drops, drops, drops. But guess what? You know, the, the concept that people use intimidation, whether it's physical, mental, or spiritual to one another, it never goes away. You never get to hit this point where there's this nirvana, this place where you can isolate or insulate yourself and you're ultimately protected from you know, manipulative people. Now, the, the, the way you deal with that, in essence, is you create this foundation of confidence that you can always rely on. And, and the cool thing is once you get these, these baseline tools, you just have them evolve because I'll tell you what right now, the, the person you are right now, 15, is not the person you're going to be at 21 or 26 or 45, right? You're going to keep evolving. That's the beautiful part of the human condition. So be, you know, be excited that, guess what, it is new, it is it, you know, you, it is, oh my gosh, I, I don't know what's going to happen. It isn't. Get in, involved in that and say, wow, all right, this is kind of the cool aspect. It freaks me out a little bit, but I have these motivational triggers, this maybe one song. I remember for, for me, here, here big, big, every time my first deployment downrange in a combat zone, uh, every time before we'd go out the door, I, you know, I'd do my whole systems check. I'd make sure my gun was good, my kit was good, my, my medic stuff. I knew the the comm plan. I knew every, I'd get every all my stuff, go through everything. Then I'd sit down in my chair in my 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 tent that was you know dust everywhere and sand and all this. Sit down. I put on my headset and I put in Jane's Addiction. Jane says right, and I would listen to that song. And when Perry Fer Perry Farrell's voice starts hitting, man. It just brought me into that space of confidence. I don't know why it's that song. I don't know why it was that song. It was the mood I'm in. Now I look, uh, I listen to a lot of explosions in the sky, right? That gives me a lot of confidence. I, uh, uh, I, you know, all these other kind of, you know, these motivational triggers I'll tap in. That'll reset my confidence, and then I'll kind of, I'll start taking those little steps again. The, the key for you to recognize is. The, your perception of pace in terms of your development as a person does not need to be in hyperdrive at all, ever, right? All you need to do is take a little step every day, mm -hmm. and that's the place you're in. And be confident in the step you take. And if you get knocked back a couple steps, take a minute to reflect and say, well, why? What knocked me back? What was it? Was it how I perceived this, this thing, this event, or whatever? Or is it really there's some truth to that? Or maybe it's my fears getting in my way. So just pace yourself and recognize it's going to be slow and gradual. But thank God that's the way it is right now. Because as you get older, it just speeds up and speeds up and speeds up and to where it's flying at you like this. And you're like, ah, you got to put the brakes on sometimes and just be like, take a breath and then get back in. That's a great
great question. He is a badass drummer, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> brother, let me tell you what, you know, music is absolutely, you know, one of the challenges that I, I have in my life is that I can't play a lick of music. I love music more than anybody you'll ever meet in the planet and just passionate about it. Like, I, I'm the guy that'll be in the, the random dingy bar there's four other people, and I'm rocking it out at my table, you know, going nuts. And, you know, everybody else is like, what are you doing, weirdo? And I, that's me because that's I, – I just feel it. You know, I just – I get excited. So the fact that you can create that, that you can share that with other people, that's empowering you. Yeah. And so just stay in that – for confidence, stay in that place. 